Now to our other top story. In terms of fans going to games, Lobo football may be at rock bottom. Saturday's matchup against Hawaii drew the smallest crowd at the stadium in nearly two decades. So what is Lobo football's future? And will there be a buyout for coach Bob Davey? News 13's Chris McKee asked UNM and lawmakers about it today. Chris. Yeah, Jessica and Dean, so far UNM athletic director Eddie Nunez and the president Garnett Stokes have not touched this buyout question. But on the flip side, some lawmakers are talking about the state should consider spending more money around the program in order for Lobo football to succeed. Flip back 10 years in Lobo football history. And it was a different story. The team's guide outlining big crowds drawing nearly 40,000 fans at times to games in the 2000s. A stark contrast to the home crowd Saturday. Losing to Hawaii at Dreamstyle Stadium, the Lobos saw 12,617 fans, filling about a third of the seats. It's the smallest crowd Lobo football seen in 17 seasons. Davy's response? I take full 100% responsibility for that. Don't, don't, don't in any way blame these players. The coach's performance has lawmakers' attention as UNM controversially cut other sports teams last year in part to help athletics costs. I think the school uh, and the university and the community really need to support this team to get this thing turned around. Um, Republican Senator Mark Moores and Democrat House Rep Mo Maestas both think football needs help. The football programs uh, have to sustain the rest of the programs. I think that was part of the calculus in cutting men's soccer is that. But neither are talking about the state paying Davies' potential $900,000 buyout this year. It's wasted money if we're not going to change how we behave as a state and a university. Moores believes football needs more money. Other stu states, other schools are building new facilities, spending the money to be successful. And if New Mexico doesn't do that, we will continue to flounder. Where we can help the university is with capital. Maestas, too, thinks cash would be better spent on football upgrades if more fans buy in. If we were to have 35000 a game for a couple consecutive years, I guarantee, I guarantee the legislature would be more than willing to, to round off the other side of the stadium or, or add or add uh, seats as opposed to benches or, or things of that nature. Now, Davies' contract goes through the end of 2021. We asked Athletic Director Eddie Nunez for an interview today about Lobo football future. He told us that talking about the subject right now isn't ideal. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. The Lobos are now 2-6 and six overall this season.